Hello there and welcome back to a, another episode in our series. So in the previous episode we managed to complete and build these lovely cliffside upgraded houses and today's episode's focus is actually going to be influenced by the previous one. So before we move into any kind of bigger massive builds any sort of landmarks is what I'm talking about. Uh, we did notice in the last episode that our metal situation is not very good. And I mean, of course, there's a couple of options. Um, first one, we could take down all the ruins that we can see on the map. But that is something I think I don't want to do. I do want to leave them everywhere as part of the sort of environment and decorations. But also a reminder for the beavers to strive for a better harmony be between nature and their lifestyle. So second option would be to just wait and build lots of warehouses so we can stock them up with as many... What's wrong with you? You're exhausted. Okay, fair enough. With as many metal blocks as possible. But that's not really what we want to go with because we do want to have a steady supply for the bigger builds. Uh, so that way I don't have to leave the game running for, for too long. Okay, uh, there's another beaver complaining. Nothing to do in range. Okay, so this one's done. Let me just pause this. Uh, right, and the third option, which I think we mentioned in the last episode as well, was to try and make our way all the way to the other corner of the map. So, yeah, that's definitely something... I think it's fairly... It should be fairly easy or achievable. Right, another thing I do want to make sure that we do is I want these houses to be within the range of the district center. So if we highlight our routes and we go right over here, we can see that we reach this house here, which is no problem, but then we can't quite go any further. So we just need to relocate this building by about, about two blocks Okay, are you almost empty? Hopefully. Let's give you a priority as well, so hopefully this one gets done a little bit quicker. Um, right, so if it's one, two... I guess the dis district center will have to be... Actually, yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult. Now, the annoying part is that it's right next to us. I mean, I guess we could always flip it and put it on the other side. That might make it a little bit more convenient. So that way we don't lose the range on on our housing whilst we are preparing ourselves. Okay. We are going to need a platform here. And we've got a ton of beavers and bots that will clear this base for us very quickly. Alright. There we go. So now that should be the right size. Let's just double check as well. Yep, that seems perfect, although, hmm, let's, uh, we are going to lose access, few building houses, but that's okay. There's nothing vital up here right now to our colony anyway, so hopefully no one got stuck over there. But uh, let's do a temporary solution, just like so, and we shall give you the highest priority. Okay, carry on with this, hopefully they'll get it completed fairly quickly. Right, right, right. And whilst they are constructing that over there, let's have a look. Our batteries are pretty full. We're in a rainy season. We are producing, oh wow, I, a ton of power, almost 10,000, which is pretty, pretty decent. Our forest is finally starting to take shape as well. So we have one, two, three, four, Five, yeah, five lumberjacks, it seems. Okay, and a couple of foresters, of course, as well. And right below, we are also... I just wanted to make sure we have enough trees uh, growing right now to make sure, whilst we aren't transitioning over, that we do not run out of logs. I mean, of course, we already had a ton over here, so we shouldn't be too worried, but better safe than sorry, I suppose. With this area here as well... Yes, it is going to change a little bit. I think everything can be shuffled over just a little bit. Perhaps. Perhaps there's no need. Perhaps we can just build, bring those lumberjacks a little bit closer in this area. And that should hopefully solve some of the problems. Alright. 
Uh, so this is now completed. Right, on to the fun part. Let's uh, grab the district center. Okay, there we go. You are about to be deleted. We can rename you again to forestry. Okay. And hopefully everyone's going to jump back into, into our colony. Now, let's take a look at the housing. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. One more. Uh, okay. Well, fine. That means we are going to have to jump back over there, though. Okay. Uh, let's place you here. I do want to double check that nothing... Oh, this one's already out of range. So that's no good. But we can uh, we can survive for the time being as we don't... Yeah, we're in a rainy season right now. But why is this saying not in range? Oh, okay, yeah. I think it's, it's correct. Seems... Yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three. Right, short by one in this side. What about all these buildings here okay you seem pretty okay but we are reaching the limit as well or very close to it I believe okay here we go perhaps there's a way if we highlight you it feels like they're a lot closer than some of the other things Um. Now, this seems pretty direct. Okay, let's leave this house for a, for a second. So with these beavers, uh, if we go down from here, it's going to walk through this whole pool here. I kind of want the access route to be a bit more to the side. So they could cross over, perhaps start using this region here again. Okay, and I think with everything that we have here, although it was a great idea, I like those cliffside houses a lot more than doing it on ground here. So I think for the time being, it is a little annoying just to pause everything every second. So we shall remove this whole blueprint from here. Well, you lot are all paused, so perhaps it doesn't matter. And we would like to give them another route, actually. It seems it will be much easier if we cut through right here. Okay, and that means we don't really need to cut these trees down. Alright, there we go. Get this one done. Uh, highest priority. I don't think they have anything else to do anyway, so that should be nice and quick. Alright, and the third one. Off you go. Let's have a look at the range real quick. And, oh, it's already a little red. Okay, rainy season is about to start. Uh, once we see how long it is, sorry, not rainy season, the drought is about to start. Once we see how long it is, we will know if we need to figure out the problem that we are having here at least. But okay, let's uh, look at our access. So district center, all the way through. Oh. Okay, we still have to construct a few things in here. If we want nice and easy access, I guess we could do a ladder here. For now, at least. Or we could go... Mm, no, let's just make it as easy as possible for ourselves. And pick the most direct route. Uh, wait a second. Those ruins are going to be in the way. So let's take a look. If we use this as a bridge, that might be a little bit easier to orient ourselves. Okay, let's get the bearings right. So we'll cross over. Yeah, that's a little further now as well. Uh, okay, never mind. Because here we can still build like a district center and things like that. So off we go. And we are going to need access. Oh, I see. Okay, well. Right, we'll figure it out. No worries, it's it's not too far off. 
And we'll uh, do something here as well. Okay, beavers. I think we have a lot to do in here. Are you able to access it from the top? Let's have a look. All right. Oh, that's the furthest they can go. Well. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a couple of things built. I mean, we can do our district center here again. Perhaps it is a good idea. All right. So we'll grab you, place you. Huh. Oh, I see why. Okay. Let's uh, sever the link real quick. So, no, not this way. Let's place you just like so. We can put the gate back on. And you are receiving logs, blanks and fuel. Which means you can be uh, unpaused again. And do we have any... No, we don't have any spare columns here. But we do have in the other district. So, let's add another five. So bring it to, oh, minimum. Everything's reset, I think, it seems. And we do 50. I think these are pretty, pretty decent numbers, right? Yeah, and we got a couple of spare beavers here as well, and even columns, but they will be sent over any second. All right, so let's send the columns here as well. I think four would be good to start with. Okay. All of you are going to become construction beavers. And let's have a look at the range. I'll speed up the time so we don't have to skip the night. Alright, so can do a few more builders here as well. You can reach all the way here, which means we can got this link in here. And if we want to make this a bit more direct... I suppose... Hmm... Well, let's try. Let's give it a few different points of access. We could also... Cross from here, perhaps. Uh, it might be better. Well, let's have a look. So, this seems like a... Like a decent spot. Yep. And we can make sure... That the time runs a little bit quicker as well. Clean up this space if you can. And we do need another set of stairs as well. I mean, we don't technically need it, but I'm I'm still going to put it in place. In case we change our mind in the future. Okay. Oh, I suppose we don't need those anymore since the access is coming from this side. Uh, but okay, you are also going to have to climb down. And this might be a very good spot for us. Okay, so you can carry on with this. We shall also connect the roads. And I think somewhere here is going to be where we make this other district. Yeah. Okay, I'm not sure what you guys are constructing now, but... He should be the first priority. Okay, there we go. So, you'll cross over. District center here. We can cut down some trees as well. Get some logs. Okay. Uh, cross over. Go up. And we're here. I'm not sure if this uh, district center is going to have the range. Maybe it has to be a little bit further away. I guess we'll see how far we can go with you first. Then move you over. Maybe this one relocates to here. That might be a little bit better idea, actually, now that I think about it. Okay. Uh, right, right, right. So this uh, section here is done. I do want to cover up those not-so-good-looking levees with with uh, some trees. So let's grab a forester. And... Okay, that gets pretty much most of it, isn't it? Yep, so you can go there. You're now empty, which means we do not need you, I'm afraid. Alright, drought starts in about 1.4 days. Batteries are still good. Yep, 62,000 power in there. And um, I think now is also a good time to 
continue constructing all of this, right? Yeah. Don't think we have to mess, uh, mess around with the arrows too much, but who knows? All right, there we go. I do have to leave them a little bit of access still to put down some of the dirt miles. But uh, let's have a look. How far have our columns reached? Okay, so they've cleaned up this whole area. There's a few more. Okay, one more there. Just to clean it up a little bit. And you are unfortunately in our way as well. So let's uh, clean this up real quick. And now they should be able to, once I put the next set of stairs in, complete the top ones as well. But again, yeah, of course we might not need them, but let's see. So you can go all the way here, which is great. Yeah, I think we need this district to be a little further, further down. And for that, seems like this is a pretty lovely spot in here. So let's give this a try. How far do you guys want to go? Okay. Unfortunately, we are going to have to... Got the link for a second. Oh, you're still connected. Okay. This one there as well. And I guess we could try it in here first. And then we can slowly push further and further. Okay, so let's... Uh, delete you we shall connect you up this is all red so that's good and now just want to make sure that those columns move into the district in here oh you became a lumber lumberjack okay we got four they moved over and everything is back to back to fantastic okay Right, seems like the ground or the earth is already rising in here, which is good. I think we also do want to start lowering the pool because the um, we fill up those tanks pretty quickly. And yeah, we'll probably make some arrange rearrangements here as well. Okay, let's do a quick round check the colony see how things are going metal numbers are looking lovely but i also do know that we don't have a lot of storage for any of the excess metal that we are getting so we'll definitely have to make some more storages for them some trees are now starting to go up so that is beautiful everything else seems to be fine okay 0 0.3 days and then we shall know where what, what shall we do with this or if we have to do anything at all i guess okay logs how is this district doing yep they are still harvesting them pretty quickly it seems might decide to put a couple more lumberjacks in here however yeah i think especially on this side i have found a spot already oh there's still a couple of uh, logs in the way it appears and you guys are full okay so they must be hauling things back and forth as well, which, yes, it is uh, dragging down our efficiency. But right now, these logs aren't really used for anything. So perhaps we don't need another lumberjack. Okay. So coming back to here. Uh, let's speed up the time because it's nighttime. Right, right, right. This whole area. I think we can cut you back a little bit. All right, there we go. Drought has started 27 days. All right, so we will definitely have to make some uh, adjustments, it seems. All right, so you can go over. Oh, it seems we are already at the edge of the map, which means... Uh, <laughs> the easiest way to construct you. Let's uh, just place you down for now. Entry. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. Wonderful. So all we have to do is climb down from here, connect you up. And then the rest of the road can go straight down as well. That is actually amazing. Alright, we cross over. Alright, there we go. 
we shall bring the road through so we know how far we have to go okay that's good and we don't have to actually pause the game i think we are fine yep you climb up from here we'll try and tidy this up and there we go i don't think you will reach all the way there no unlikely i mean with the size of the map as well perhaps we should try and limit the amount of districts we have perhaps okay so you can go here you have a bit more range now what are you guys doing uh, you're probably getting logs and other things as well okay i mean it wouldn't hurt to give you like a log pile over here in case we want to turn uh, or ask someone to start cutting the trees which is actually not a not a bad idea and we shall give you a little area in here as well okay right so you are already constructing that so that's good should go up pretty quickly now we shall get rid of the vegetation in here and then uh, the last set of stairs should be built pretty quickly as well yep they are bringing over the resources and the last of the flowers Ah, you left one in here. Where did you run? Pretty sure he just bolted. Or maybe... Oh no, we don't have anyone in there right now. Okay, here we go. Both of these are done. Stairs as well. So, it is about to turn red. Yep, we definitely will not be able to reach. But what I'll do is... We'll figure out the distance... So this will be the furthest point we go. Yep. Okay. Then we shall place the district center somewhere here. So perhaps we can still leave them as they are. I mean, this one probably has to move a little bit. Because of the housing in here. Most likely, yeah. Okay. And now we just have to connect you up, isn't it? Yeah, let's do another one here. All right, let's skip the night and we'll be back in the morning. And there we go. So 26 days left on the drought. We are linking up the rest of the mountain pretty quickly as well, which is lovely. All right. And here we do have to change you up just a little bit. So I suppose we can do a few in here. I don't think we need any of those roads right now. Yep, that should be fine. And then hopefully we can uh, put the roads where they need to go as well. Okay, just a few more sections left. Alright, there we go. They can't quite reach them ones. And I don't think we'll be yeah, able to fix them anytime soon. But that's alright. We'll uh, get most of it done. And now... So you have nothing to do. You're moving things over. Okay, I see why. Off you go. Do we have the reach? Yes. Okay. Very good. I think here we're just going to do platforms for the time being. We can eventually put a dam in this corner and also here. Okay, lovely. I know they're not going to have access just yet, but it's uh, not a top priority, for now at least. Okay, another road goes into place. They should be able to reach both of the platforms. Yes, they will. Uh, and this is where it's probably going to get a little bit more trickier. Let's take a look. This is still kind of orange, red. So I guess we can reach till about somewhere there. Yeah, then it's not too far off, so... Oh, pause for a second. What we shall also do... Uh, I think we can have one beaver... No, the column. Working from here. And this whole zone, I want it to be cleaned out. Okay, trees shall not move into this zone. Oh, you're going to be doing cutting trees that are a little bit closer to you, which is fair enough. This means we can 
get rid of the everything else in the in the area okay we could probably do another beaver in here let's um set you to five okay so now we have the construction beavers that we need things are getting done pretty nicely oh that's oh okay never mind you've already done it so okay so you're saying it is too far from the district center oh right that's the furthest we can go so i don't think this is gonna save us a lot i think we're actually gonna have to build it somewhere on this side instead yeah we shall also clear up this whole zone there which means we do have a few spare columns right now let's turn them into uh lumberjacks as well all right so here we go it took uh, quite a bit of time to get it all done but if we highlight the district center we can now see that we have the reach up until the stairs over here so this means we still need one two three four five uh, six okay so you need to move over by six let's have a look do we have the space for it one two three four five six so perhaps this corner might be might be perfect for it we shall empty this space in here okay as soon as they empty this space oh no i think they have already started constructing that one there nope to take all those uh trees and things out from here please i think we have a spare one we don't need to cut you down but all those trees definitely need to go all right we'll speed you up uh, let you guys finish that one off i also had to move over the drop off zones because the district center moved there and now it didn't have quite the reach to be able to access the resources from this drop off point so yeah, we've got two over here. One's receiving exactly the same goods as before. Whereas the other one is going to be for gears, which are being transported over. And the second resource we shall add very soon is the treated planks. So right now, power is looking a little, ooh, a little low. But we do need to ramp up the production for treated planks because the mine itself, if we check real quick, it takes about 200 treated planks and that's quite a lot. So right now, treated blanks are being made here, used in the mine, and we're also making some in here as well. What we could do for the time being, let's pause this building for, for a little while. We'll construct you as well, okay? Right, there we go. Our Let's quickly check the logs. Yep, that's definitely going up very fast, thanks to rearranging a couple of things in this area. And let's take a look. So we have, okay, we do have a few. Let's uh, start exporting you now then. Three the planks, off you go. And we can have a few more columns in the distribution center just to start sending them off as quick as possible. Right, so resources are already being moved in here. What would be and could be handy is if we bring some more columns in this zone okay so how about we set up like a hauling post i can't actually if i'm completely honest quite remember if the haulers will bring resources to the construction as well it seems i have forgotten but um okay so we shall move you over we do have the space now yes we do let's do this real quick Okay, off you go. Columns in here. And I think we did want to have uh, new buildings. Yep, that can be all columns as well because the, they are the only ones we shall have in this district. Okay, minimum nine for the time being. We'll get them over and let's build you as quick as we can. We'll do a builders at as well. So I'm sure we'll figure this out very quickly all right there we go another nine are without a job i thought we only moved oh okay so it was the leftovers plus a plus another nine okay fair enough we'll skip tonight and then uh, we shall be back very shortly 
All right, so there we go. Hauling post is now complete. Let's see. What are those beavers doing? Oh, they're just sitting here. Okay, fair enough. They do not help moving resources to the construction site at all. Uh, I kind of was afraid this might happen, but that's fine. We shall construct a few other buildings here. Actually, this is not necessary. Let's do another builder's hut and give you both the highest of priorities. Okay, please get this done. ASAP, you are no longer needed, so we can board you for now. I don't think we quite have to destroy you, but... Oh, actually, if we move everything over... Do you know what? We are going to destroy this section here, because I just noticed that... If we place buildings like so, we can have a holding post right over there. So, highest priority for these two. Three... Yep, there we go. Roads as well. And hopefully they will be constructed very quickly. Right, so whilst they are uh, completing that... Oh, wait, we should probably increase you to maximum amount of workers as well in case they complete them a little bit quicker whilst we are not in that area. So, yeah, District Center still needs to move over by a little bit. I think what our plan here was is to... How many spaces do we need? Oh, let's highlight you. We'll come over. Oh, wait a second. We might not have to move it. I think what's happened here is... Oh, I'm so glad I checked. We just had to build another platform. Okay, there we go. Yeah, because we have the single houses, right? Ah, almost moved it and messed it up again. Okay, fine. That's all right. Oh, we do not need you, I think. Um, what would have been actually very smart is not to build those walls if we want to do some more cliffside housing. But no, actually, never mind. We can build it all. We just have to put a little supporting pieces of land right in front of it. Yep, that's the way to do it. Okay. And we'll get those final pieces in as well. Just like so. I think inside here we also do need... I'm not sure if I have to move the arrows around a little bit, but uh, yeah, that's the... I think that is the last link, right? Then it's all done. Nothing to do in range. Okay, fair enough. At least we got all the builders now. Perhaps we shall... Oh, you no. Let's. Uh, no, they are bringing in logs from uh, our forestry district, so we can have more builders. You guys focus on building this mine up. The quicker we get it done, the better. So we got tons of gears already in, and 63, almost half the treated planks as well. I do know we have quite a lot of logs in here, 272. So, yeah. All we need now is just a little bit of time to allow them to finish this off and bring all the resources over. Another thing we could do to speed up the beavers is we got some catalyst. There isn't a lot of it, but we could definitely... Oh, I know we don't. why we don't have a lot of it. So we don't have a tank for it to store all that catalyst in. So you are holding biofuel right now. Why don't we create another tank? Oh, wait. Is Catalyst not stored in... Wait a second. Right, so you're pretty full, but what is interesting... Catalyst is not stored in the biofuel tank. Wait a second, did I... Oh, of course. I am a little blind today. So this is for the Catalyst, and we can... You're gonna take treated blanks as well. Oh, dear. I don't think we have any... In this zone. No, we do not. Everything's in the other one, and that's being sent to. Right, right, right. But we can still export you, right? Because you're full. Or about to be full. So, what we could do is. Oh, we don't have a lot of drop off points. Okay, so biofuel is here. Explosives, logs, and medicine. You seem pretty empty. What can we do? Okay, don't have a lot of. 
pretty pots in here, but we do have a couple here. So maybe we shall change you around for just for a little while. Okay, let's let's do that. So forestry. Let's say 49. Okay. That's what we need. Now from forestry. I can find you. There you are. Uh, it's so much easier to find what we need when there's less districts. Okay, so forestry. We are going to send maybe like four. Okay, we still have three spare ones in here, which is great. Now this means we can put a few more columns in this building. Okay, well, I'm sure we'll find one from somewhere. Uh, there's none in the farms. Since the log piles are pretty full here, I don't think we need a column in this building. Yep, let's change you over, and I think we just have the regular beavers in the other ones as well. Okay, there we go. Now you should be in this building now. Okay, so that's great. And what we can now do... We shall send over some catalyst. Okay, there you go. And then what we can also do is we can transfer you from this district to here. Okay, just to speed up the beavers. I think when it comes to the limits, we do not need a ton of it here. Uh, biofuel catalyst, there we go. Maybe about 10 will be sufficient. Okay, we'll speed up the time and we'll keep track of the construction. As soon as we're closer to completing it, we shall be back. Alright, so we are almost complete. What I've done here since the drought is already halfway through almost, I have expanded the the pool just a little bit. So this is like the, the easiest fix I could have done without relocating everything. Just to extend it by one and now they do have access. When it comes to this forester, I think, yeah, everything should be fine. We still have a good range, but we can, of course, put another set of stairs here with the hopes that it gives a slightly more direct route for him. I mean, these are a little out of range right now, but that shouldn't be the problem. So let's uh, move over to where our mine construction is. And right now we got 192 treated planks already in. So just another eight left. We see one of the columns running in there, dropping off another two in the global stockpile. We have about 12 right now. So as soon as they get transferred over, oh, here's another one. Hopefully he's carrying a couple as well that's gonna bring us to 196 oh 99 and there's the last column walking in now oh what we should have also done we probably need a road here right everything is in we got all the resources please take out this tree as well and we shall get it constructed ASAP there we go and voila beautiful so last thing to do is we just need the need the road here. Okay, are you within the range? Is the question. Yes, no. Yes. Okay, there we go. So we'll fill you up. Okay, tons of scrap metal will be produced. We don't need the construction beavers any anymore. And actually, you can be perhaps the lowest priority. Same with the construction beavers here, actually. We can... Hmm, well, there is a couple more things that we do have to construct. One of them is the uh, distribution post. Uh, this will be a lovely spot. Same with you. Right here is actually perfect. So why don't we remove a couple of flowers from here. Okay, I think we already have someone running over. Nope. You're going to skip us. Ah, there we go. Perfect. All right, distribution post is going to go here. Right, we are going to need a few columns actually working in here as well. I guess the ones from the district center can go over. But then again, we do have to yeah, transfer a couple over. Okay, so you can actually become the destination yeah, the drop-off point for the distribution post over there. 
This means we are no longer needing to send over the tree the plank so everyone can jump in here. Oh, we have seven workplaces. I guess, um, yeah, we can change you over to beavers, both of you. Now we do have one spare column, it seems, and you can go into, into the mine once again as well. So we shall most certainly ramp up our metal production. I mean, we've got 179, so the next thing really is to give it a couple more storages. But yeah, we are, we are now done. Well, we don't really have anyone working here, but as soon as we get a couple more columns, we shall send them over to start uh, moving resources to the forestry district. It seems the mountain here is pretty much complete now as well, which is wonderful. We have access to the last house, so yeah, everything is now fixed. So let's cut the episode over here. What I might do is let the game run for a little bit. Uh, we shall fill the stockpiles with resources. And in the next episode, we shall look what do we want to do with this area. And perhaps even in here as well to make things a little more efficient. I was kind of thinking maybe raising this mountain up as well. Just to give it a... You know, it's pretty... This whole area is... a pretty flat in here so it would be cool to have these sections here actually a lot higher turn them into real mountains uh, it's gonna take a lot of turf but we can perhaps just do the outline first and then see how we wanna how we wanna go about it but okay that's it for for this one thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode <laughs>